Hello, Nard out here today with a uh, Bell Song Talk. Uh, it's been a while since I've made one of these, but uh, since I've had the Triforce, I feel like I need to do a Bell Song Talk uh, about BRS and uh, the Triforce. Uh, their three production models that they've uh, put out recently, or within the past five years. Uh, my involvement with BRS starts uh, before BRS started as a company. Uh, Ed and I, I've talked about Ed before, Lu Lucifer. Uh, he was kind of my mentor starting flipping. When I was starting, uh, I had the 42, and we were at Flipping Arena, and we were battling, and he was always kind of pushing me, battling some more, making more videos, and that's really how you, you get better. You make videos, you learn, you study your own videos, uh, you come up with new combos. He was kind of there just pushing me the whole way uh, through the beginning and throughout my career as a flipper. And Lawrence, uh, Knife Soid, uh, he, me and him, uh, we started talking really when uh, the Alpha Beast came out and uh, we were both technical and then he came, when he came out with the Rev 8-Ball, that opened up Pandora's box for, for me uh, for me and him. We both kind of explored Rev starting, there was no Rev back then, reverse, right flipping. Uh, and I came out, we, we just tear up a new door and then just put, you know, figured out a whole bunch of stuff that we haven't done no one has ever done before it was really cool me and Lo me and Lawrence really had a cool connection uh, talking you know on hangouts and uh, coming up a new shit and it was me and him was it was tight me and him and Blade it was really tight uh, but then uh, Ed and Lo started talking uh, you know we were always wondering you know we back then we had the Benchmade 42 uh, you know, classic, just turned out to be really one of the staple bow songs starting off that a lot of people used. It was accessible. It was cheap. It was a hundred, what, a hundred and thirty starting off like back then. You know, ten years ago, uh, they were ab abundant, right? So it was used by everyone. Everyone had one. I think it, everyone should have one uh, as a flipper. Uh, mine's beat the shit. I've seen the river for a couple of weeks, uh, but. Back then, when the Alpha Beast came out, it was the first production model BRS, you know, well, it is BRS, but it was the first production model knife balsam that was made for flipping. So it, it was made uh, solid construction, uh, you know, titanium, longer than the 42, uh, not too long. It was a nice sweet spot of a length, I found. Uh, beautiful blade. Everything was just perfect on it. It was a, the ultimate flipper at the time it came out and just blew out of the, the gate sold out right away and it, and it was just the alpha beast mine, mine's a 1.0 uh, but it's just a staple knife like it's just a great knife to to mod a great knife to to own as a main beater it can take a beating mine has seen a lot of shit and it's a great knife they came out with they sold out right away. They just did a drop this week. 100 units. 100 Alpha Beasts. This is, you know, 3, 4.0. I don't know. They dropped and it's just sold out in 130 seconds or 30 minutes. So uh, the premiums are going to drop soon and they're going to fly just as quick. Uh, so they had a really good titanium knife. All right. S starting off BRS. Great. Then they came out, you know. I remember when the 51 came out. When I was flipping my 42, I was like, oh, next production model, I'm gonna get Benchmade. Made 51, it was kind of a letdown. It was short, it was good EDC. Uh, it was great EDC. Uh, Flytanium skills actually made it like a half really good flipper. Uh, really good at aerials, neutral, short. Shorter than most, you know, shorter than 42. But like, it didn't, it didn't have stock. It didn't have that competitive drive that the rep gave when they came out. When the rep came out, uh, you know, like everything, the first model is always, you live and learn, you move on, next model was just, the two and the all the rounded ones, the reps were just stock, perfect, 
good competitive you know they're they're kind of big they're kind of uh light for the size and they swing and they're just great solid beautiful knives uh that can take a beating i mean g10 is g10 will chip if over concrete but as you know i went to latchless recently and then i put clips on everything and but the, when the rep came out, rep is a beautiful knife to, to another staple knife that you can mod, like scales, regrinds. There's a lot of blade there to do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, with the liners. It's two great knives starting off uh, with the company. Uh, and then they made bare bones. Bare bones, everyone was waiting for a while. Uh, cheaper because of the materials, stainless. Uh, it was compared is being compared to other knives, but I think bare bones completes the triangle of the Triforce very nicely. It's a different knife. It's it feels feels thinner, long, and just the balance. It, it is on the heavy scale, but it's nothing you can't use to you can get used to how it moves and you oh just, bare bones is. Up there with Alpha Beasts and Rep, there are just three three knives that have different characteristics, and they complete each other very well. On a day you go and you you want to pump out some clips, you bring those three knives. Your guarantee, uh, sometimes you you feel like you need a different knife for a different trick, then you switch over to something that's lighter or heavier or longer or carries more momentum, less momentum, more ricochet. I mean, you got everything you need there, and that's it. I mean, I could carry on for the rest of my career as a flipper with no other knives and be happy. And I could just keep maintaining these and, you know, hardware changes, handle cleans. I mean, my Alpha Beast is just not even close of what it was uh, when I got it. Like, mine's a 1.0. I got the stainless steel bushings came in. I put in, I put the bigger Torx uh, screws in for uh, the pivots. Uh, I put a clip on it because clip on, latch off is my new motto. Uh, I find it still gives you a good idea of what the blade, where the blade handle is uh, visually and you can feel it and it's not in the way. And it's just best of both worlds for me. So, Triforce, I mean, I don't know what's next. I mean, they, BRS can just keep pumping different premiums and people are gonna buy them because they're fucking great. And uh, hopefully in the near future, they're gonna pump out more and potentially more models. But I mean, with a base like this, where you can just go back and forth between production of different models, you can keep a, a set of flippers completely happy and you know, why look ever anywhere else? These guys actually care about what, how people think. They 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 correct their mistakes. They keep their uh, MSRPs really low as as possible. Uh, they could be making more profit, and they're not really making more profit than you would think. And uh, but it's because is they're trying to expand as a company and uh, really appease the flippers. Obviously, collectors as well. I mean, it's all market. Uh, mutants, I mean, I don't have a mutant. I don't think that's the type of knife. I'm, I just go for production and maintain them and ride that wave. But uh, to each his own, and I think BRS has nailed it on the head for the Balasong community. And I think that right now they're running the Balasong game. And there's no question in my mind that they're just going to carry on making sick knives and people are just going to buy them because they're fucking great. Anyways, thanks for listening, for me going for... Nine minutes, Jesus. Uh, cheers, and uh, keep putting.